So we published this uh, consensus paper in the Nature Neuroscience uh, last year, uh, where we addressed different uh, um, issues, not issue, but uh, points about reactive astrocytes, so how to call them, how to define them, and, uh, and also um, some misconception. And one point that we address, of course, is this, this, uh, the limits of uh, trying to, to categorize astrocytes into two categories, uh, the A1 and A2, because um, single cell, single nuclei analysis, for example, have shown that in many different contexts, astrocytes they do they don't polarize into such fixed categories. Um, so we should uh, accept that astrocytes are much more complex and that they, they can adopt many different states that are very plastic also. And when we look at uh, transcriptome, we only see one uh, part of the of the cell because. Uh, of course, uh, then we need to understand how these uh, transcripts are, are transformed into proteins that will regulate functions. The morphology of astrocytes is very complex. So also with, uh, you know, the, you can have morphological changes, morphological plasticity. So it, it's really complex. So, so we should avoid to, to make broad conclusion just to boast about, um, based on a few transcripts. Um, so I think, uh, so, so single cell, single nuclei analysis is, uh, is useful to, 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 to reveal the, the heterogeneity of astrocytes at the molecular level. But as I said, we, we see only parts of the heterogeneity. Uh, studies that uh, um, try to illustrate the heterogeneity of astrocytes at the functional level uh, are really interesting as well. And it was shown, for example, by the Arake lab a few years ago, that uh, astrocytes in the striatum, depending on the circuits they were involved in, uh, um, on the neurons they were connecting to, they, they would have different uh, responses, different influence on the circuit. So I think uh, the starting point can be the molecular profile the heterogeneity of astrocytes that we can see in normal or disease condition. And then it's important also to assess functionally um, how astrocytes are different. And an astrocyte in the cortex or in the thalamus or in the spinal cord will be different because they, they are in face of different neurons as well. So the function is important.